Hey everyone, DMV Solar Rider here. Sorry for the audio overlay, but the other day I had to change my schedule and I was able to get to a demo day at Indiana Fredericksburg at the last minute. Off I went, having given zero thought to how to present my rides, basic info and specs about the 2020 bikes and all of that. So I'm just going to share my rides with you. I'll mix in some basic specs and pretty pictures for each bike from Indian's website, where you can go yourself for more detailed info. Mostly I'm just going to share how each ride felt to me. Just keep in mind I've only been riding for a year with about 13,000 miles under my belt, 5,600 of them on a 2019 Indian Scout, and 7,500 on a 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. Hope these are helpful. If you're curious about these bikes, ride safe. So we're on the FTR Rally. I can barely get my feet down. I am on my very tippy toes. I've never ridden a naked street bike, sport bike, whatever category you want to call this. We will see how it goes. I don't know anything about this bike. I don't know if it has rider modes anti-wheelie traction control all that stuff guy said keep your rpms at about 4500 i don't even know where to put my damn feet okay i'm kind of Left foot down, leaning off to the side of the bike. This is a whole different ball game. It's so different. Oh my God. I know nothing about this bike. I'll, I'll go put up some stats. I didn't even check my mirrors. I'm so nervous. So this is the really the third motorcycle I've ever ridden. Indian Scout. Chieftain, well, no, that's not true. Scout Chieftain Challenger. I dropped the Triumph Bonneville Bobber. And now the Indian FTR Rally. It's a 1200. It is not, contrary to what some say, an Indian Scout engine. It is an engine built specifically for this bike. And that's all I can tell you about it. <laughs> My guess, my understanding of the rally is it's more of a design aesthetic as opposed to a performance change. Has some knobbier tires than the stock FTR, standard FTR. And I don't think it has the performance of the 1200S. whole different ball game he said keep your rpms at about 4500 so i'm in second gear 45 miles an hour 5000 rpms okay that's close enough it is a thousand times different than any cruiser <laughs> that's for sure just the rider position is so weird so weird i don't know where to put my feet i don't know if it's that my feet are small so i can't really tell where to put them the front brake definitely has some grip i'm so uncomfortable just using the rear brake that i i seem to miss it more often than anything yeah so like this is not a motorcycle i could ride every day it's just it's too tall I mean, I am literally on the tip of my shoe. The 
Ooh, but I could ride it temporarily. Oh yeah, baby. I <laughs> That's fun. That's a fun motorcycle, guys. Okay. DMD Solar Rider has no motorcycling experience, but man, I know fun when I see it. Feel it. And all the pressure, all the weight is in the palms of my hands, which kind of sucks. Oh yeah. That's got some giddy up, folks. FTR Rally. No idea anything about this motorcycle, but it feels like a beast. I haven't opened this thing up even a little bit. I keep shifting with the heel of my foot somehow. Got vibration in my butt in third gear, 4,500 RPMs, 4,450, whatever. But that's okay. I can grip the tank with my knees, give my hands a rest from that pressure. It's a fun bike. Could never own a bike like this and ride it every day like I do my Chieftain. How do people ride sport bikes all day long? This would kill me. Not even my neck issues, just my hands. Ugh. Well guys, it's my first demo ride, first test ride. We're just gonna have to check it out. This is a fast motorcycle. It is true though, you learn how to ride one motorcycle, you can ride them all. I mean, you just gotta get used to the different foot placement and stuff.
feels super light compared to a 830 pound chieftain seats comfortable for what it is I mean I got vibration in my ass riding position is extremely aggressively forward I mean it makes a scout look like my chieftain you know like you're sitting fully upright not even close all the pressures on your hands your wrists brace yourself with your knees against the tank you can get some relief but first time out on a bike of this style ever it's not as easy to, to do consistently That's a lot of fun, fellas, ladies. A lot of fun. This will be a fun second bike. Everything about the foot controls are weird to me. Like, I'm just not comfortable with them. my partner Got some heat on the back of my legs. Not as much heat as, say, on my scalp when the exhaust pipe was right on the inside of my thigh. It's so interesting to ride a much lighter and more powerful motorcycle after spending almost 8,000 miles on my Chieftain. One, it, you don't worry about, gosh, can I ride this? That, that's not even a consideration. It just feels different. Feels nice, feels light as a feather. I can't wait to ride a Scout. See how that feels. Alright guys, let's see what's up next. <laughs> 